Hi guys! It's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Now this is just a very quick update on the two uh, Slumberjira hanging baskets that I brought in from the polytunnel into the house, into our shower unit, to give a very good watering. Now these two Slumberjiras was in the, the polytunnel and as I mentioned in the original video, I normally keep all the Slumberjiras lightly watered throughout the winter. I usually give them at least one good watering every two to three weeks, even the ones in the polytunnel. And I like to take them out into the yard on mild winter days to give them a watering so the water drains back but because previously we'd had some very cold winter temperatures I didn't want to take them out into the yard to water them and they were getting more and more shriveled and I decided to bring them into the house just temporarily into our shower room which is kept quite cool just to give them a very good watering and this is the before then this is the after I should say of how they look like now now if you didn't see the original video when I brought these in to water them you'll see how shriveled they are in that video do check that video out links to that video will be up above and down below in the video description and uh, you'll see what they look like now and I mentioned in the video I was going to keep them in keep them for a day or two and then put them back into the polytunnel but I decided to keep them actually out here for a week because every time I watered the water came straight through it's this sort of wicker basket that doesn't hold water that well and I wanted to make sure they were really plumped up before putting them back out into the polytunnel again so this is what they look like now and I'm going to be putting them back into the polytunnel probably tomorrow but you'll see how much they've plumped up look at that unbelievable they were so shriveled they were just hanging and I'm happy to say because this one here is my the true Christmas cactus the Slumberjira Buckley as they call it and this one has the one the flowers hang down and the more scalloped leaves and it was full it's still full of bud and all the buds have opened I was worried about moving it that they were going to drop off but look at that it's gorgeous guys loads of uh, beautiful flowers and this particular hanging basket has a selection of a few different types of uh, of the slumberjira the christmas cactus in here as you can see that's more of the pink pink flowers there this one's more of a of a red flowering absolutely gorgeous and then this is my slumberjira um, truncata one of my slumberjira truncata thanksgiving cacti um, again all the flowers are sort of stopped flowering now and if you want to know how to tell the difference between a christmas and a thanksgiving cactus because they can look very similar when out to flower then do check out a video I've made on how to tell the difference between Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus so very happy to say lovely fattened up there nice and uh, plump so that's a little update so just to let you know the unbelievable how they plump up when you give them a good watering I know a few of you saying how do they look now after giving it a water so I thought I'd show that absolutely beautiful and if you want to know how to care for Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus then do check a video out I've made on how to care for and grow the, the Slumberjira Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus links up above and before I go I just want to show you something else that's blooming beautiful in the grow room right now now here I am in my grow room here and I made a, a video on this beautiful orchid when it was flowering the other day and uh, now look at the update on this there's more blooms than ever flowering on this beautiful beautiful orchid and um, this one is the um, orchid coming out as the wild cat and uh, Col Colmenara wild cat and I want to give a very special thank you to uh, my wonderful friend Fernanda for giving the ID on this gorgeous orchid um, and I'll put the name of the orchid down below, Col Colmenara Wild Cat, absolutely beautiful. And if you're not familiar with Fernanda's amazing YouTube channel, I'm not joking you guys, she has a beautiful YouTube channel with the most incredible succulents and orchids galore. She lives in Portugal, very, very, very beautiful incredibly beautiful garden and uh, amazing plants and so do check out Fernanda's amazing YouTube channel um, succulents and orchids and I'll link uh, Fernanda's YouTube channel up above so do go over and subscribe to her and if you love succulents and orchids you'll be amazed at her beautiful collection so thank you Fernanda for the ID on this beauty and just look at that guys just wanted to make a bit of an update it is so, so stunning. You can see why it's called wild cat. It actually does look like a little wild cat with all its patterning. Oh, it's gorgeous. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I just thought I'd do a little update on the Slumberjira, how, it's, how they've fattened up now with a good watering. And uh, for lots more tips and tricks on caring for cacti sucks, please do subscribe to my channel and also check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant 
power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.